Hello everyone, I am Nimi Melvin from Nimi Sat. Today I am going to paint a cute kitten and his mom in acrylic. I am going to use these at 9 by 12 size. Acrylic paints, pencil, eraser, black sharpie, a cup of water, palette for mixing the colors, some brushes and a paper towel. Let's start sketching. First, I'm going to do some basic shapes. So let's start with ovals. So I have completed drawing the basic shapes. So you can see two ovals close to each other, same size and some big long ovals for the body. Now I'm going to divide these ovals into equal parts with horizontal and vertical lines to draw the eye and nose. So let's draw the lines, straight line, vertical and horizontal. Then on, the, on this line I'm going to draw a curve for the eye, closed eye and triangle shape for the nose and a small curve for the mouth. Again we have to draw eyes on this line, two circles, this is open eye triangle shape for the nose and a curve for the mouth and the eyeball is here so he's looking at mom you can add the eyebrow too now i'm going to add the legs so first we can draw the legs of this little kitchen so i'm going to start from here a curve another curve then a small tiny oval for the paw curve and they're close to each other they're touching each other here then next curve and the bow is like a small oval shape. Then you can draw the next line on the same oval shape. But I am just making it more curved. And the next bow here. And the next one, the other side of the body has the same kind of line. A small oval shape. Then you can add the tail on the side. Now I am going to add the details of this cat. So we can make a curve here. So it is kind of going like this. A big six shape. Number six. Okay. And I'm going to make it slightly curved outside. And leg. And the tail is coming in front. like this and I'm going to make this tail a small one because it's a small kitten so small tail is fine now erase these lines the straight lines clean up the drawing and take a black sharpie and outline everything else Now I'm going to mark some areas for different colors. I'm going to add a small ball of wool here. So just add a circle, then some lines. And you can add accessories. So you can add anything you like. First I'm going to take some orange and I'm going to mix some yellow ochre into that color. And I'm going to use this color for the, the body of this cat.
and I'm using the same color for this little kitten's face but only for these shapes. I'm just adding one more layer for the same color but I'm leaving these shapes because that's going to be a different color. Now you can take some color for these marks on cat's body. So you can take any color, you can take white, brown, black, any color you like. This is dark brown burnt umber and I'm going to mix the same color into it, a little bit of yellow color into it. Now we can take some pink color so if you don't have pink take a darker red color you can take some crimson red magenta or any dark red then you can add some white to it so take more white to get very light pink clean up your brush then you mix the pink color I'm adding a little bit of yellow ochre also into it like a coral pink so this color is for the nose and ear and some areas of the mouth And I'm going to use this one for the space around the mouth for this little kitten. It's a, he looks so cute. And I'm going to use some green color for the eye. So you can take any color, okay? You can take black, brown, or green, or gray. And a little bit of brown. greenish brown color for the eye and a small tiny white dot inside on the side with the other end of the brush we can use a toothpick and if it needs more finishing you can add one more layer of the same color And I'm going to use some white color, not exactly white, a little bit of um, yellow is also there in that. Not pure white, okay? So yellowish white for the space around the mouth, on the side of the nose. And you can use this color for this kittens white areas of the body
there is a small collar he is wearing so we can take some black color for that and i'm doing a white dot inside i mean black dot inside the eye in the center of the eye now i'm going to take some red so you can choose any color you like for this heart shape and also for the bow one line just above it just. and for the heart just add a tiny dot of pink and take a color you like for this ball of the pool i'm going to paint this ball with green color any color you like okay this is light green and let's add some white to make a lighter tone of the green color and i'm going to do it on the side like a highlight a little bit of dark green on this side for the shadow areas of this ball I make some light green again now i'm going to take some yellow color for the background this is cadmium yellow deep it's a darker yellow it is between yellow orange and yellow color and i'm going to add some white also into it so you can choose your own color for the background I have completed painting the background with yellow color. Now I'm going to use some white color for adding some flowers on top. This yellow and white are good color combination. You can draw with pencil and paint it or you can simply do just like me. And some green leaves too. I'm just using my light green plus white combination. Some lines and some leaves. If everything is dry we can take our black sharpie and outline everything
don't forget to add eyelashes and whiskers some final touches so just adding some brown color for this area And if the eye is not visible through this color, you can take some black paint and outline that again. And we can add a little bit of white plus brown just above this eyelashes. I have completed the painting. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.